Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Coronation Street star Sally Diniver may not have had the best of weather in Portugal, but that didn't stop her from smiling as she spent some quality time with her husband. Sally Diniver is seen with her husband, who is rarely seen, as her daughter competes against the Hollywood elite at the Met Gala. The actress, who gained notoriety for her role as Sally Metcalf on the ITV soap opera, recently left the UK to travel to Porto with her partner Tim Diniver. The couple, in love, traveled to the northwest Portuguese seaside city and explored some of the attractions. Porto is so beautiful but even more so when the sun is shining, Sally wrote as she captioned a series of photos she posted on Instagram with Tim, a writer and director who has worked on shows like Emmerdale. We're coming back, at Dina Vordem. And her supporters and admirers answered right away. Lovely picture of you at the start with hubby, said it Janamj. At De Gitter said, it looks lovely. I hope you had fun. At Nathan.Molino stated, at Sally Dynever is absolutely beautiful. The reply from at Ruskoth was, definitely on the bucket list, looks fab. Amazing photo, added at Candy Ekinoy. Enjoy yourself! Known as fashion's biggest night, the Met Gala is held on the first Monday in May and celebrates the opening of the Costume Institute's spring exhibition at the New York Museum. Since then, Sally has returned to Instagram to share pictures of her oldest child, daughter Phoebe, posing up a storm. With their interpretations of the topic Sleeping Beauties, Reawakening Fashion, the biggest stars in music, cinema, television, and fashion ascended the off-white and airbrushed green steps of the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York on Monday night, May 6. Phoebe, the Bridgerton actress, was the first person to attend the annual fashion event in a custom Victoria Beckham dress. The 50-year-old designed a gorgeous pink lace ensemble with a long train and hand-cut flowers. Phoebe even ascended the iconic steps of the Metropolitan Museum of Art in her gown. By posting multiple images of Phoebe, 29, posing for photographers on Instagram, the former Spice Girls actress provided additional details about how to achieve the look. Sally reshared the post with a string of red love hearts, and Victoria captioned it, saying, In a nod to this year's Sleeping Beauties theme, the ethereal silhouette was handcrafted from archival lace and embellished with over 300 lace applique flowers, hand-cut and hand-sewn onto a tool base. The Coronation Street actress laughs when asked who she thinks would be escaping the cobbles with people like Gemma Atkinson. Star of Coronation Street El Mulvaney was left making light of her own appearance after she posed with her co-stars for a photo that revealed she and a few other cast members would soon be escaping the cobblestones. Known for her role as Amy Barlow on the ITV soap opera, the actress is one of the cast members participating in the AJ Bell Great Manchester run. They are urging others to join them as the half-marathon event is already sold out. They will be among the tens of thousands of competitors in the A.J. Bell Great Manchester 10K later this month. Together with Elle, Harriet Bibby, Summer Spellman, Callum Lill, Joel Deering, Adam Hussein, Adi Alahan, Peter Ash, Paul Foreman, Janique Sterling Brown, D.D. Bailey, Colson Smith, Craig Tinker, and Luca Tulin are making their way from the cobblestones of Weatherfield to the Portland Street start line. The stars of Emmerdale, a Yorkshire village, Isabel Hodgins, Victoria Sugden, and Danny Miller, Aaron Dingle, are also getting ready for their May 26 arrival. Daniel Jillings, a close friend and co-founder of Once Upon a Smile, will also be joining Danny. In addition to Gemma Atkinson, who has committed to the marathon, her co-presenter Mike Tulin of Hits Radio will also be participating, along with his son Luca, the soap opera star who was previously mentioned. This year's The Traders finalist Jazz Singh will also be trading in his detective cap for trainers to run the 10K in an attempt to set a personal best, or PB. In an effort to raise money for the M&D Association, which he represents through his role as Paul on Coronation Street, Peter remarked, We've been working on a storyline about my character Paul, who has motor neuron disease, M&D. I'm running for the M&D Association. I believed it would be a fantastic chance to help them generate some funds. I'll be thrilled if I can beat my time from last year's Great Manchester 10K, which took me 1 hour and 16 minutes. Running is incredibly liberating, it's a terrific way to spend a day when everyone is supporting you around town and it really lifts your spirits. Gemma, an actress and radio broadcaster, is also running for a cause that is dear to her. I've been president of Bleak Holt for a long time now, she declared. 
so I've personally witnessed what the volunteers and staff do to keep us going. We are completely dependent on donations, and our current vet expenses are very substantial. Vet bills alone in February came to £38,000 as so many animals are brought in in poor health. Being able to support my neighborhood animal refuge is very important to me. They're amazing! Corey, meanwhile, used social media to encourage some of its stars who were taking on the running challenge. Elle, Luca, Shanique, Callum, and Luca were all spotted testing their running prowess outside the recognizable rover's return. Look out for cast members competing in the Great Manchester Run this year. It's a fierce competition, so support them, the post's caption opened. No cobbles were hurt in the making of this photo, we're not sure about any ankles hashtag Corey at great underscore run. Elle noted in her comment on the video that most of the actresses were appropriately attired, writing, will be running in my Zara 2 piece XX, along with a series of laughing and weeping emojis. Sad to hear is how Coronation Street star Andy Wyman responds to the passing of a former co-star, Bernard Hill. His agent broke the news of the actors passing over the weekend. Hill passed away on Sunday, May 5th, according to his agent. Hill was most known for his parts in the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Titanic. He also played in the BBC drama series Boys from the Black Stuff and the 2015 adaptation of Hilary Mantel's novel Wolf Hall. In the 1997 Oscar-winning epic romance Titanic, which starred Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, the actor played Captain Edward Smith. He played the role of the Odin, King of Rohan, in Sir Peter Jackson's trilogy The Lord of the Rings. For the second installment of the trilogy, The Two Towers, 2002, which took home two Academy Awards for Best Sound Editing and Best Visual Effects, Hill joined the cast of The Lord of the Rings. For the 2003 film The Return of the King, which won 11 Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Director for Sir Peter, he returned to the franchise. Among the first to comment was Andy's mother, who wrote, R.I.P. Bernard, so sad. The actor said, it's very sad isn't it Mum Triple X? Additionally, actor and screenwriter Jonathan Harvey said, Ah, I bet you learned a lot working with him Andy. Andy responded, Yes, I did Jonathan, he was a great actor. Gosh you look so young there, retorted at Vera York, one of Andy's other followers. I was 11 when we filmed it, it was nice to work with such a great actor with me being very young, very sad he's passed away, Andy tweeted in response to the statement, very sad to learn that Bernard Hill has died loved Vin and boys from the black stuff as Yasser Hughes Andy then Sholey Valentine. And more of Andy's admirers and supporters answered right away. At Jane Miller 1202 expressed how much she will miss the amazing performer. One of my favorite shows ever was written by at Winky Walker. At Karen Cole then 144 posted, Bernard's passing is very sad. Added by at Helen Murray 23, I adored that show. R.I.P. Bernard. His breakthrough role was Yasser Hughes in Alan Bleasdale's 1982 television series Boys from the Black Stuff, which followed five jobless men. In 1983, when the show won a BAFTA for Best Drama Series, he was nominated for a BAFTA TV for the part. Andy was one of the people thinking back on his time spent working with Hill in a job before to his rise to stardom as Kirk Sutherland on Corey. My first major speaking part was on a show called Once Upon a Time in the North, it was a six-part series and Bernard Hill played my dad, sad to hear of his passing today R.I.P. Bernard, the soap actor wrote on Instagram, posting a photo of the two.